Hello, I am Dr. K. K. Mishra from R Classes. In this video tutorial, I am covering multiple choice questions and objective type as well on human values and professional ethics. Part 3. This I have compiled from examination viewpoint. I hope that you will like this video tutorial. This is specifically for MBA and BTEC and other students who are to write their examinations as per AKT syllabus. Questions. Question number one. A harmonious world is created by values at four levels. These are options are A. Home, family, society, country. B. Individual, family, society, universe. C. A school, home, office, temple. D. None of the above. Correct option is B. Individual, family, society, and universe. Question number two. Many human values seem good or right due to options are A. Positive feelings. B. Internal happiness. C. Natural acceptance. D. All of the above. Correct option is D. All of the above. Question number three. Competition, competence in professional ethics refers to options are A. Ability to utilize power effectively. B. Ability to augment the universal human order. C. Ability to make profit. D. Both B and C. Question number four. An individual people aspiring for the universal human order will be options are A. More responsible. Socially and ecologically, B. More rich, C. More powerful, D. More well traveled. Correct option is A. More responsible socially and ecologically. Now move to next slide. In this slide onwards, I have taken objective type questions which have only two options, either true or false. I have put correct options against each statement here so that it becomes easier for you to remember. Now question number five, respect is the need of the body. True or false? It's false. Question number six, fearlessness is one of the comprehensive human goals. True or false? True. Question number seven, the plant order is a coexistence of the self and body too. False. Question number eight. Corruption is an unethical practice. True or false? It's true. Question number nine. Prosperity and wealth are equivalent. No, it is false. Question number ten. Right understanding forms the basis of definitiveness of human conduct. It's true. Now move to next slide. Viewers, let me tell you that by and large, correct options are highlighted here in case of any discrepancy found will be corrected in my narration. Question number 11. The process of self-evaluation is self-exploration. True. Question number 12. Imaging is the activity of body. False. Question number 13. Knowing in self means the having uh, means having the right understanding. It's true. Question number 14. Affection is the only the foundational value in relationship. It is false. Question number 15. Ensuring right understanding and feelings in the order is called guidance. It is true. Question number 16. The feeling of relatedness to all human beings is called love. It is false. Question number 17. Where there is harmony among the parts of the body, it is known as sanyam. False. Question number 18. Activities of body are continuous. False. Question number 19. Sukh is ensured by appropriate physical chemical things. It is false. Question number 20. The feeling of acceptance of excellence in the order uh, in the other is called reverence. Correct. It's true. Question number 21. Akhanda Samas is the feeling of being related to every human being. It is true. 
Question number 22. Justice in family means recognizing and working on nine values of relationship. It is true. If you like this video tutorial, please do not forget to subscribe and press the bell button and pass it to your friends, those who are in need of this kind of content to write their examinations. This is question number 23. Education. Right living leads to fearlessness. False. Question number 24. Society is the second level of living. False. Question number 25. Selecting and desiring are the activities of self. True. Question number 26. Clothing, nourishment are the needs of body. True. Question number 27. Bhokta means doer. False. Question number 28. Conformance of plant by order is called seed conformance. Correctly said. True. Question number 29. Living together at the same time of different types of groups is called coexistence. Rightly said. True. Question number 30. If we live in group, promoting each other's interest mutually, it is called living in harmony. Correct. True. Question number 31. If we all shall learn about value education, our technical and professional learning shall be neglected. False. Question number 32. Value education is just a new name for what was taught as moral education before. False. Question number 33. Value means what is the price or cost of something. No, it's false. Question number 34. Universal means true or applicable all, at all times and everywhere. Yes, it's true. Question number 35. Plants sustain material body. True. Question number 36. There is coexistence among all the units of nature. It is true. Question number 37. Space is self-organized while nature makes self-organization possible. True. Question number 38. The prevailing world view is totally conducive to a holistic management model. False. So this was all about this video tutorial. I hope that all of you have liked it. Let me tell you that these are not only important from your examination viewpoint, but these are well lifelong lessons. I hope that if you have liked it, definitely you will pass on to others and you know subscribe and press the bell button. Thank you very much. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Have a nice time. Best of luck.